again. Let me spell it out for you. I'm not going to help another loser who can't stand up for himself. I was told you would help me. I'm not responsible for what you were told. You really are pathetic, aren't you? We're supposed to make certain you're up for the challenge, but I give up. <laughs> Follow me. You again. You must be fond of punishment. Not particularly. What I would be fond of is a straight answer. As soon as I have one, you'll be the first to know. Move along. You're never going to figure out why we're giving you the runaround, are you? Huh? Persistence does count for something, I suppose. Well, let's go. Still haven't figured things out, I see. Are you always this slow? On days like this, yes. Maybe you'll be kind enough to help speed things up. Yeah, of course. And maybe someday people will be able to fly. Good day, stranger. Do unto others as they do unto you seemed like an appropriate code for our hero to live by. We were trying to toughen you up, but clearly it's not working. Let's go. Well, why wasn't I invited to the party? Believe me, this is no party. I've no more patience with any of you. Well, that's a shame. Without the four of us, I'm afraid you can't be helped. Like I always say, the more the merrier. What's one more bove gonna hurt? Come along. Though it had taken longer than expected, much, much longer than expected, the bard and the four boves ventured forth. A prime example of the rude leading the rude. I don't know about... La 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 there you'll meet a very good friend of ours who'll show you the way. Why do I have the feeling that this little runaround is far from over? Believe us, my friend, there is a method to our madness. I'm sure there is, but no reason to take me down with you. Poor Connor. He should come to...
lost in the dark. Painful. After stumbling around in the dark, and with the help of his newfound companion, our hero found the secret passage to the top of the bluff. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... I must say, your future will become very bleak if you say Bove right now. As you wish. Far be it from me to shorten my own future. Just tell me, are you the one I seek? And I emphasize the word, the... I am he whom you seek. For safety's sake, you may call me... Well, whatever you'd like, actually. Then I'll call you homely for that's an apt description. As you wish. I'll even dance if it keeps that sword out of my belly. I've seen enough summon dance for one day. So, only, why have I been summoned to this armpit of a town? You've not been summoned, my friend. You have been chosen. Quite an honor, I might add, for only the strongest and most courageous in all the land would have been chosen by the beautiful Princess Calais. Beautiful princess? Let's hear more. Aye. Princess Calais is the loveliest lass in all the land. Oh, it makes me weep to think of her plight. Continue. Not that I know where this is going. Our fair princess is being held captive atop an ancient tower. Dark forces keep her locked away in a mystical prison. Only she... Let me guess. Only she can defeat the evil. Always a tower, isn't it? Nobody's ever held at ground level anymore. How did you know? <gasps> That's astonishing! Sorry, friend. Not interested. These princess rescues always turn sour. Last princess I tried to rescue, well, let's just say the ogre was dying to give her back. Wait! Did I mention that she's as rich as she is beautiful? Rich? How rich are we talking? The barest portion of her wealth could buy Dunby a hundred times over. Not bad. And, uh, you said she's beautiful as well. The fairest in all the land. You tempt me, but still. Let me do something to allay any doubts you might have. You can speak with the princess directly. How is that possible if she's locked in a tower? I have my ways. Just give her a chance to speak with you herself. She can be very persuasive. I expect to be well compensated for my time. You will be, my friend. You will be. With visions of coin, cleavage, and carnage jiggling in his head, the bard and his newfound friend head off to be in the presence of the mysterious Princess Calais. Here we are, my friend. I see no tower here. I thought you were taking me to see this princess. Aye, and you shall speak with her. Uh, just, uh... Not in the flesh. But eventually I do see flesh, right? In due time, my impatient friend. In due time.
You remember my brothers? Yes, but I'm so bad with names. Both! Now I remember. Can we get on with this? If I don't see this princess soon, believe me, Boves will roll. As you wish. As I mentioned to you before, Princess Calais is in an impenetrable tower. I don't remember you mentioning the word impenetrable. I didn't? Well, that's because it's only impenetrable to the likes of us. A strapping fella such as yourself should have no problem. Nice try. Go on. The only way we can communicate with our beloved princess is by summoning an image of her. We have this ritual Enough that... words. Let's see some action, some action. Very well. Are we ready, my friends? If this were stage, I'd boo you off. Now, Bove, the bell! Bove, now, or we'll lose her! Ring it, now! Ding! Was that her? <laughs> she looked familiar. Where's the bell? Was that Princess Calico? Calais. Bove, the bell. I don't exactly have it. <laughs> she's the one who appears when I use this pendant. Who does exactly have it? Farmer Finn. So she's the princess. And she's rich, you say? Ugh, gambling again? I'm sorry. I'm weak when it comes to temptation. Join the club. Who needs the stinking bell? Can't I just go and rescue her? I could leave right now. Do you have a fast horse? I'm afraid a rescue is impossible without information which only the princess can provide. Well, I can summon her right now. She comes when I use this pendant. Hey, let me see that. Hmm. It is as I thought. Where did you get this? From the guy that sent me to you. This pendant contains a portion of her magical essence. A little bit of her spirit, if you will. It'll invoke her power, but does not allow for communication. All right. So point me in the direction of this farmer. If I can't buy it back, I can find a way to con it out of him. I obviously can't trust Bove to go get it. But you must hurry. Time is an issue. Get that bell and bring it back here as soon as you can. Then I can go get the princess, right? No more run around? Aye. And she'll repay you many times over. And in many ways, I hope. I'll be back before you know it. Our smitten bard was on his way to see the farmer, with luck at his side and images in his head of the princess doing things I dare not mention. Get off my land, you filthy vagrant. You're not welcome here. Don't burst a blood vessel, old man. I was sent here to reclaim an important artifact. There are no artifacts on this land, you idiot. Mostly just chickens. Did Connor send you? If so, you can tell him that I'll get him his money and the wedding is still off. My daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. You go back and tell him that. I don't know any Connor. And you're a bitter old coot, aren't you? <laughs> 
You have until I count to ten. One, two, three, four, yeah, mm, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, damn, where was I? I uh, don't mean to trespass. I was sent here by Bove. Uh, don't ask which one. To reacquire a bell that he had lost to you gambling. That bell you're after, it's not for sale. But maybe there's something you can do for me and I could offer you the bell as payment. Sure, old man. What do you need? Some chickens milked? Some cows plucked? <laughs> not quite. Come with me. These pesky crows are eating all my crops. If you can rid me of them, you walk away with the bell. That's it? Birds? Killing a few birds will square things up? <laughs> Too easy, old man. Where's the catch? You want the bell? Kill the birds. I'm old. Time is precious. Do we have a deal or not? It's difficult to associate you with the word precious, but yes, we do have a deal. Well, good luck. Meet me by the house when you're done. Thus ends the bard's tale. I think we could all see that one coming. Good rid.
again. Oh, yeah. These pesky crows are eating all my crops. If you can rid me of them, you walk away with the bell. That's it? Birds? Killing a few birds will square things up? <laughs> Too easy, old man. Where's the catch? You want the bell? Boring. Move along. So if I killed a farmer, it's not as much a sin as it is a mercy killing. He's going to most likely die any minute now anyways. <laughs> any problem with the crows? No, but heads up on the scarecrows would have been nice. Troublesome lot, aren't they? Not only do they attract crows, but every time I try to get rid of them, they took out half my crop. Last time I buy a scarecrow from a trowel. That was more work than I figured, but I guess trade is better than being in debt. Oh, you said it. Connor wiped me out so badly playing cards that I had to trade in my daughter's hand in marriage to get out of debt. I knew you were a despicable old man, but your own daughter to get out of debt? That's a nice twist. You got that right. But she ruined it by falling for some loser. Now the wedding is off. <laughs> I feel sorry for Connor. I feel sorry for the loser, but back to the things I actually care about. If you hand over the bell now, we can finally be done with one another. The bell is yours. A deal's a deal. I tell you, daughter, I'm sorry I can't attend the wedding. Wedding? Did I hear someone say wedding? Shoot him where he stands. You have some nerve burrowing your way into our land, you scum. I see you've met my daughter. Uh-oh. This is the swine's behind I told you about. I see you have your father's weight. <laughs> no wonder you traded her. Daddy, this sneak took advantage of me, then took off the next morning. You promised me marriage and you broke my heart. <laughs> Listen, lass. I believe our business is done here. Couldn't agree with you more, old man. And... As I always say, if you just hand over the bell, I'll be on my way. One, two... Please, don't count again. As you wish. 
our hero had once again been bitten in the behind due to his disrespect for women. Would he ever learn? Who asked you? I obviously have two options here. Marry her, or find some poor fool to take my place. Hmm. Let's make that one option. I'll have to have a heart-to-heart -heart with this Connor fellow. Take that! 